drink, even when it had gone cold. Yeah, and the tandoori chicken was so tough, we couldn't get our forks into it. Never mind, eat it. Oh, never mind. At least we had that nice yoghurt and nut dessert. How they give me a carnation on my way out? Oh. Uh, how was your dinner party, Mrs Walker? I hope your wood pigeons were a little more tender. Please don't talk about the wood pigeons. I'm too upset to mention them. <clears throat> She's not very well, you see, tonight, Ken. She's got them. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. It's all right, I'll get over it. Oh, no, can I just have a bit of lemon, please, Ken? That wine went right to my head. Right. Bert. No, not for me, Ken. Thanks, I'm off. Okay. See you. Bye, Bye. Bye. And the usual. Can I put the rover away? Well, no, I... Uh... You haven't parted in some other silly place. No, 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 no. Well, I... then where is it? I wouldn't give it to me. Wouldn't give it to you? Why not? Well, it was six quid for the parking ticket. They gave you more than that. It was 20 quid for towing it away, Mrs Walker. That's 26 quid altogether. I didn't have enough. 26 pounds? I'm sorry I couldn't invite you back, Ken, but you know what it's like when it's not your place. I'm sure Emily wouldn't have minded, but I don't like taking advantage. Oh, well, don't apologise to me, of all people. It's just the same living with Uncle Albert. You know, he gets really fraught if anyone says at his bedtime. He says it ruins his beauty sleep. Yeah, it's a right botch up, isn't it? I mean, here we are, two grown-up people, parents even, and it's like being kids again. I don't feel as if I'm controlling my own life anymore. Do you know, sometimes, living there, I feel like a schoolgirl and Emily's the headmistress. Yeah, and it's very much the same with me with Uncle Albert. And you're a lot older than I am. Do you know what Schopenhauer said? Who's he when he's at home? Uh, well, he was a famous philosopher. He said that no man should marry until he's 35, and then he should marry a woman at least 15 years younger than him. Whatever for. Well, uh, Amongst other things, they will both begin to lose their sexual urge at about the same time. Is that a fact? You mean women lose their sexual urge 15 years before men do? Uh, so he says. That makes you and me about right then, doesn't it? Uh, if Schopenhauer is correct, yes. Hey, what are you getting at? I see. Oh, very well then. Collect it in the morning. Well, wouldn't it be better if I went for it tonight, Mrs Walker? It'll be 28 quid tomorrow, you see. They put two pound a night on for storage. That is the last straw. First, they confiscate your car, and then they charge you for holding on to it. Will you take over, please, Bet? I am going to bed. It has been a day of disaster. Utter disaster. It's no use. I can't concentrate. I've read that page three times, and I still don't know what it says. Ryan, is it, love? I wish he hadn't told him I was out when he called. Well, I like that. You asked me to. Well, he shouldn't have taken any notice of me. You knew I was upset. All right. Next time you can tell him you're not in yourself. Don't expect me to. Do you think he's gone out with somebody else? Well, he's every right to, hasn't he? I mean, you're not engaged anymore, are you? Look, love, what else can he do? He comes hammering on the door and you bang it in his face. People don't expect to come back for more time and time again. It's your move now, lass. Behave like a fool, am I? Yes, well, don't you sit there like a wet, wet Monday. Go and do something. What? Well, stop him on his way to work and talk to him, for God's sake. If you don't apologise, you can... Apologise? You me? can like my words. If you don't apologise, you'll lose him. And my guess is you have already. <laughs> gone in yet? Yeah, about five minutes ago. Do you know, it's all bed and baldwins. I even dreamt flaming jeans last night. <laughs> oh, we're wearing them. Good old body. Do you know, my dreams aren't half as interesting as they used to be. Are yours? Come on, let's get over there before Stevie boy starts now. It last night. What? The pictures. Would you get Fred, please? Let me ask him to come in for a minute. Do you want me, Mr. Walker? 25, 26, oh. 27, 28. <laughs> hey, it's a good job I haven't got a car of my own. 
I couldn't afford to fork out 28 quid for nothing. It's not for nothing, Fred. It's for breaking the law. You do see that. Well, yeah, but I mean, I had to leave it somewhere, Mrs Walker. There were, there were nowhere to park it, I told you. The police have a very difficult job to do, and they do it pretty well. Now, if you decide to flout the regulations, then you must pay the penalty. Now, I've considered it very, very carefully overnight, Fred, and I am quite clear that it was your fault. What do you mean? I mean that it was your offence and it is up to you to pay for it. Me? 28 quid? I can't afford to pay out 28 quid. No. I know you can't have paid it all at once. Therefore, I am lending it you. But it will be deducted from your wages. I just keep thinking about what a mess I've made of...